Hey, what's up guys? This is Brian from Whisper Status 74. This is a quick look or a long look at Disney Plus, which launched this morning. The new streaming service from the media giant that we all have followed our entire lives has their own streaming service to rival Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, you name it. Uh, many of you are interested in it. Many of you are not. I will tell you before we get into the video, initially I could almost care less in the sense that a good amount of this content I already physically owned. And being a huge fan of physical media, um, things like this, I'm not a huge fan of them coming out because I feel like it kills the reason to have all of our DVDs, Blu-rays and everything else. I have been a huge Disney fan since I was a child, like many of you. Love Toy Story and Pixar for many, many years. I've been less in love with them lately. Love Star Wars for many, many years. Been less in love with it lately. <laughs> Same with Marvel. Um, but there is a ton of content here, especially for a day one launch. It's different now than it was this morning. But there is a lot here. I want to have. I want to go through some of it with you guys, so you guys can see if it's worth it to you. I think I'm locked in seven dollars a month for three years. If you have Verizon. Unlimited, it's free for the first year. There's all kinds of deals out there, so make sure you check that out. But quickly, we're just gonna go through the sub menu, which you see on the left, which has your home, your watch list, channels, or I'm sorry, originals, movies. But we're going to what it looks like when you first start. You have Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, National Geographic, and you have your originals, Mandalorian, which just came out. Recently read an article where what they're trying to do with their series, as you'll see here, in order to keep people from binge watching um, content and then canceling their subscription a la Game of Thrones, they're going to release them episode at a time. So that's going to be to keep people from watching something like Mandalorian and canceling. I understand that, but many of us love to binge watch. So maybe you'll have to wait till this accumulates and then you can watch them at once. They have the originals, recommended for you, hit movies, trending. I'm not sure if this will do what Netflix does and be different on every device. This is on a fire stick. You're inspired by true stories. What's interesting here, though, is Ultra HD and HDR. Now, I'm watching this on my plasma upstairs, so I can't tell you if these are it. But it's interesting the picks that they have. Obviously, Endgame, Frozen, which hasn't been released in Ultra HD. Mandalorian, I heard, looks amazing. But you get over here to Force Awakens, Captain Marvel, Tangled. A lot of these haven't been released in 4K or HDR for that matter. So it'll be really interesting to see how these titles look in HDR. They haven't been released on that format yet. It makes me wonder if and when they will. Oh, High School Musical, yay! But a lot of this stuff, Aladdin doesn't have an HDR 4K copy. So it's going to be interesting to see how these look. Especially Star Wars Empire Strikes Back Return of the Jedi. Phantom Menace, a lot of these have never been released on the 4K Ultra HD format yet. We'll see if they're true 4K. I'll have to see on my display downstairs. But that makes this interesting right off the bat. A lot of these alone are, are worth it at 4K HDR, even things like Aladdin. But we'll see what the implementation really is. Um, Disney Channel favorites. We mentioned some of the things on TV, musicals. But there is a ton of content here. Old stuff like The Sound of Music, Mary Poppins, Descendants. My kids love a lot of this stuff. Nightmare Before Christmas, Hercules, Descendants 2, Fantasia. Even something old, The Newsies, Christian Bale. Um, a lot of content. Throwbacks, a lot of the stuff that was on Disney Channel. The things I like that I see here are things like this excellent old school X-Men cartoon from back in the day which was really close to the comics. And they have quite a few seasons here. It's pretty cool. Beasts and Monsters. So they have all different subgroups, a lot like you'd see with Netflix. But now we're gonna break it down to movies. We'll go through just even all movies as of right now. A to Z. Got some classics here. Not 12 dates, 20 leagues, 1,000 leagues under the sea. This is obviously the cumulative of all of them together. We'll go through them quickly. But a lot of old stuff. But even things like Atlantis, 
Bambi Avatar. But I mean, for a day one launch, a ton of content. Something like the Black Hole, Maximilian, for those of you that grew up with that. You know, there's a lot of old stuff in here. There's a lot of things, too, that, like, again, a lot of little kids like, obviously, Chicken Little, but even newer things like Christopher Robin, the Narnia series from a few years ago, even obscure old stuff, the computer wore tennis shoes. Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, your Mighty Ducks, things like that. So, good bit of content. Where you hear something like Stadia, which is launching in a, a couple days, which has about 12 games. This is a lot of stuff that you probably wouldn't pick up. But is here, in case you want to see it. You know, Dumbo, the original. Now, Disney's already catching some flack for releasing some of these old school, um, old school films that weren't um culturally appropriate especially back then so you might see some of these old ones taken down um things like the little rascals like years ago things obviously you know don't really sit well now they probably never should have but some of these old films may be pulled down i've been seeing a lot of that in the news as well but you're seeing a good a good a bit of content Spectre gadget things like that now is this stuff that you guys are all going to watch i'm not sure but it's an awful lot to take in I already watched uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. You have the Jungle Book remake. You have the original. Sher Khan, one of my favorite bad guys of all time. So going through all the movies, there's quite a bit. We're only on L. The original, Herbie, The Love Bug. Even flops like The Lone Ranger, Maleficent. Cartoons. So flipping through these. Even some hidden gems or at least some things like uh, Meet the Robinsons. So you won't need those discs that you had hiding around, which also makes me a little bit sad, too. The National Treasure series. Documentaries, things like that. Okay. That just cuts off there. Not sure why. Oh, here we go. Pirates of the Caribbean. A lot of these old Disney's. Pocahontas. Even the bad sequels that followed a lot of those are here. Remember the Titans. So it'll be interesting to see how they do in the future with their own original content. Much like what you see with Netflix. We spent $16 billion this year from what I read. Netflix has spent on original content. That is not sustainable. Your Star Wars films. The old ones. The terrible new ones. So a lot of content. But you have a lot of documentaries. This is all of the movies that are there right now from A to Z. Obviously, we're not going to go through all of them. We'll get to the end. We're nearly there. There you are. Zootopia. Finishing it up. Yeah. <laughs> My kids are like, yeah, Zootopia. Yeah. So we go over here to Ultra HD. And I like that they're showing this even in 1080p because... Um, Netflix uh, for 1080p on a lot of doesn't show you what is Ultra HD. So they're saying these are all in Ultra HD, which is a good amount. Like I had mentioned before, that has not been released yet. Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones. So a lot of these, if it's true, you don't need to buy them on 4K. Again, sad to say. That's quite a bit. Especially a lot of these I didn't bother to buy in 4K HDR. Sword in a Stone. So, pretty good lineup. You know, 4K, Wally. Again, we're going to have to see how they look. You have to tell me again how you guys like it. I'm sorry, this is all over the place. Originals, again, they have a very small lineup. Mandalorian being number one. And they have a few. I think they have nine or ten. What I did like, though, when they're subgroup. Let's see if I can find it again. When you come over to Pixar... If you're a big Pixar fan, has its own subgroup. So you have all the movies here. You have all the originals, meaning a lot of the shorts that were here as well. Or these are more the documentaries. Tour Story, Cars, Unlikely Heroes. A lot of the movies are in here, but what's also in here is all the shorts that many of us used to love that were part of all of these discs. 
These are the originals. Same here. A lot of the shorts that were obviously title shorts. They're all included. Again, these were all, Pixar was known to have these in the beginning of all their films. So it's pretty cool to have them all together. Again, being a physical media fan, it's a little sad to actually see as well. Marvel, same thing. I'm a little Marvel to death right now, but everything's here. Minus the standalone Hulk films or the Spider-Man films. Though there is a Spider-Universe thing down here somewhere. Yeah, Spider-Verse here. So they'll figure that out, I'm sure, with um, licensing. Again, what I'm happy here is the X-Men. Ooh, old school uh, Fantastic Four. But the X-Men series, the old Spider-Man, Spider-Friends series, which is pretty cool. It doesn't really stand up well, but there's a lot of this cool stuff from back in the day that's here. A lot of the newer cartoons are also here. These ones here. These newer X-Men. So there's a ton of content, guys. Really, really impressed with it. Now, I'm going to watch a lot of this. Probably not a ton of it. Probably more of the obscure stuff. It's what's going to attract me, personally. Again, Star Wars, which you'll like, many of you will like, is that not only do they have the films, you know, in order, from amazing to, you know, horrible, but... Rogue One I liked a lot, actually. Um, they have the series as well. Clone Wars. Things that many of you may have missed that actually tie in some of the films. Why you might see Darth Maul in the future films is answered in some of these cartoons. The Lego stuff. Clone Wars here. So there's a lot to go through. And it's already grown since this morning. And then National Geographic speaks for itself. Hopefully this stuff will be in 4K as well. A lot of cool things to look up here. You got some of your shows, which I don't care about, but I like a lot of the uh, wildlife stuff. So that's about it. But that's quite a bit of content, guys, for day one. Very, very impressed with it. It's a lot of stuff that a lot of you already own, but I can find a few things on here that I would watch. I would watch Mandalorian. I don't love that there's only one episode available. Um, to me, that's more like a cable subscription than a streaming subscription but that's the way they're going to do it to make sure you do not cancel a lot of films a lot of movies um it remains to be seen what the content's going to look like depending on what you're watching it on but if you guys are watching it let me know what you think of the 4k hdr on some of these movies that i know don't have it or don't have releases is it real hdr we'll see if say um vincent or one of those guys does an analysis on it but that's um disney plus are you guys on board? Are you looking at it? Do you care? Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, or are you all streamed out? Physical media people, I totally understand. I'm watching this on a plasma, and it makes me sad, but I can't argue that I don't even know where a lot of these old DVDs are. My kids are going to love it. Um, but I used to collect even these Disney movies. It makes me a little bit sad. I have them all on disc. Um, but it is nice to know that they're available. Peter Pan... Pinocchio, they've unlocked the vault, which is a big thing Disney did for many, many years. Um, Black Cauldron, I think, is on here, which is one of our favorites. Oh, no, Black, not Black Cauldron, I'm sorry. Sword in the Stone. Black Cauldron, I don't think it was a Disney film. That might have been something else. I don't see Treasure Planet on here either, but I have to look through. All right, guys, this is Brian from Whisper Status 74. Let me know what you think in the comments. Are you getting this? Do you care? Um, let me know what you think. I hope everybody is doing well. I will talk to you soon. Take care.